Structural member feature in SolidWorks development models make use of structure member profiles to generate the bodies of the part. A structural member profile is a cross section of the beam, tube, channel, or other structural member type. The structural member feature takes this profile and sweep it along segment of layout sketch to create the model geometry. By default, SolidWorks contains a rather limited number of structural member profile to use. But full collections of standard site can be downloaded from SolidWorks content. You can also create custom profiles for use with the structural member feature. In this tutorial, I'll demonstrate how you can access the additional content for standard structural member site and also show an example of creating a customer weldment profile. I have prepared a simple layout for a frame I will be designing as weldment model. To add structural member to the layout, I'll launch the structural member command from the weldment toolbar of the command manager. This frame will be used 40 by 40 angle iron, but I currently do not have this size available. I'll cancel the structural member command for now and download additional structural member profile to use. In the task pane, I open the design library tab, expand SolidWorks content, and select the weldments folder. I can see the structural member profiles are grouped into standards. I am looking for a standard ISO profile. As I hover cursor over the ISO file, I can see a tooltip uh, indicated that the size of zip file, it can download it by holding the control key and clicking OK. I'll choose to download the file to the desktop. Once the download is complete, I'll open Windows Explorer to extract the files. I'll right click the zip file. Choose Extract Files. And create a folder in my SolidWorks common directory called Weldment Profiles. To extract the information to. I use a SolidWorks common folder to store my custom templates, library parts and other files that I access through SolidWorks. It's good practice to keep custom information separate from the files installed with SolidWorks. So they can be managed independently. I have this directly existing on my desktop, but if I collaborated with the other users, I could store this information on shared server locations. I'll rename the download ISO folder to differentiate it from the default ISO folder installed with SolidWorks. I, it's called directory to ISO full. Taking a closer look at the information in this folder, I can see there is a directory for each different type of structural member in the standard. And within each type, there are individual files for each different available size. A structural member profile is simply 2D sketch that's been saved as SolidWorks library feature part file type. And that's located in directory specified for meldment profiles. Each of these library features also have a discretion file property associated with them. Any structural member that's created with this profile will be inherit this description. This is an additional step I need to be make use of the new content I have downloaded. I need to tell SolidWorks where to find it. I'll select the options and choose file location on the system options tab. I want to add a new file location for Weldman profiles. So I'll choose that from the drop down list and select to add button. I'll choose the Weldman profile directly I created and click select folder. I click OK to close the options dialogs and confirm the changes. Now when working in the structural member command, I can see the ISO full standard is available to choose from. The folder in that directory populate the menu for types. And the library feature files are listed as the size of the choose from. Custom weldment profile can be created to develop a wide variety of structural member features. Weldments are very common for use in woodworking, where custom structural member profiles are used to design everything from lumber pieces to crown molding. Custom profiles are also commonly developed for plastic extrusion, gaskets, and countless other applications. To create custom weldment profile, the first thing that needed is a 2D sketch. I'll be using the sketch of strut profile to create a new structural member profile. I'll edit the sketch to make some modifications. 
the first thing to consider when creating a customer development profile is where to region should be located. The origin location will be where the profile is initially attached to the sketch layout of the development. For the start uh, profile, the default location for the layout will be bottom center of the profile. I also want to think about other location on the profile that I might want to use for positioning in the front. In order to locate the profile, there must be a vertex sketch point to pick this piece location. I'll activate the construction line tool to add some additional location for positioning. By sketching a line from the midpoint of this line to this other line, I have created two additional vertical I can use locate the profile. I also want to use the center of the profile as an available position point. So I'll add a sketch point at that location. To use the virtual intersection at the top corners of the profile, I'll add another sketch point and add an intersection relation between the point and the two lines that would come together there. There is also a shortcut to accomplish this by pre-selecting two lines and clicking the sketch point command on the toolbar. Once I have added points or vertices to all the locations I may wish to use for positioning, I'll exit the sketch. Since weldment members are often identified by their cross-sectional size, which is often referenced in weldment cut list, it's important to provide description of this library feature part. I'll click on properties at the top. Create two text property for description and then type 1.5 inch strut for the value. I'll click OK and I'm ready to save the profile as library feature part. From the feature tree, I'll select the sketch to indicate this is a feature I wish to define as library feature. Then from the file drop down menu, I'll choose save as. I'll change the type of file library feature part and browse to weldment profile directly I created previously. It's crucial to create the correct file and folder structure. That's uh, SOLIDOX is looking for to able to access the profile in the structural member command. I'll first create a folder here for a new standard I'll call custom profiles. Then within the standard directory I need a folder for the type of profile. I'll create a folder for struts. The name of the library feature part should have reflect this size so that it appears correctly within the structural member property manager later. So I'll call this file 1.5 which strut. In addition, when a sketch profile is saved as library feature part, an L is overlaid on the sketch icon. Now back to the weldment frame to use this profile in the model. I will activate the structural member feature from the toolbar and in the selection of for standard, I can choose the custom profiles directory that I created. For type, I will choose struts and the size is the 1.5 inch strut library feature. I'll use the line at the bottom of the frame as my first step. I can see the initial location of the sketch segment is at the bottom center where the profile region is located. I'll choose the locate profile button and choose the sketch point at the top of the reposition it. Then make sure I'm applying end miter condition for the corner treatment. I'll create a new group for the other line and locate the profile using the point of the sketch. Clicking the green checking complete the structural member feature. To verify the properties are working as expected, I'll right click on the cut list folder and update the group to bodies to the cut list items. Right clicking the cut list for item folders low to access to cut list item properties and I can see the description has been created as expected. 